Hi guys, welcome to Balkan Shipyards, La Vias 3025. Leathers are done. I'm Leo, welcome to the mess uh, with Balkan Shipyards. Messy. But messy is good because uh, it's making order in the chaos. If you can make order in chaos, you're okay. If you can't make order in chaos, then you can't make order in non-chaos either. So that's the ladder. That's the fake blade because I can't get the real one down because I've got to make a hole in the floor. Here's the ladder up here. Okay, so we'll talk about what I did over here. But first I'll show you over there. So at the moment the boat is sailing to the wall. I just finished the other the ladder, the whole linkage, the whole jazz. The sleep pod's too big, but I'm not going to cut it yet. Let's first test the boat and see how things work, and then if I want, I'll cut it. This is a press. The big thing turns at the top and it goes gudunk. Okay, here's a ladder lifted up. So there will be a, a hook over here connected to deck at the light length on a piece of rope. And it will be doing what this is doing at the moment. So you lift your ladder up, you stand here, you lift your ladder up like this, and you hook it on. And then you can sail now. This is not a problem. If, if you're shunting close and it's not a, no big waves and it's kind of you're getting out of the bay or something, you just leave it hanging like this. It's ready to deploy faster and you don't have to mess up with fixing it up but let's say let's say you're sailing in a big sea and stuff so you will go there and you'll grab it and you'll turn it and look at that that looks good eh and then there will be another some hook over there and I'll just hook the top of the blade there will be a little link or something over there and I'll just hook it up and this is this is proper sailing position. But fast chanting in a calm sea, you can just leave it hanging. It's way above waterline. Okay, so that's what we did over here. Now let's go and see what we did over there. Main hatch going to the boat. And then these are CLR compartments. That's what I call them. Uh, that's what I don't like about... Uh, Dagger, board, ladder, whatever they call those lifting things. They work very well. Uh, that's, you lose, you lose your compartment, you know. I mean, if I'm running downwind, why not take all my water? They'll be in water bottles of that sort. 10 liter water bottles. Why not just take all of them and throw them in the stern? And then put my junk between the hulls like I can because the Lashank is, it's a good rig, okay? It's a Balkan shipyards, and it's, it's a fine rig. It works in all conditions. It goes 55 to windward. I leave in two seconds, and I love it. And it's the only rig I know that I can turn the sail around and bring it in between the house for running, and the boat just runs downwind like a train on rails. So therefore, if I'm running over the ocean, may the force be with us, I'll load my stern full of all my water and whatever heavy I can find, because I haven't got those lifting, whatever you call them things over there, you know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking anybody that's using that stuff, okay? It's good stuff. I don't like you losing the stern and I don't like you bashing into a rock and it doesn't kick up, you know. I just don't like that stuff, okay. So anyway, here we go. This is what we did today. It works. It's the best in the West. I welded on this. This little link over here, whatever it is. And I put on this piece of string that I'm going to tie maybe here or maybe there or maybe anywhere I want. I don't know. The point of that is let's say I'm bringing down let's say my ladder's up and I'm shunting now and I'm bringing it down I don't want a wave coming and bashing it out 
and sending it to the other side of the link and the ladder getting messed up over here somewhere. I don't want that stuff happening, you know. Shunting is, a, is a something that has to happen now, fast and easy and perfect. It might be not really easy sometimes, but whatever you do has to happen once. That means your sail has to go over once. The Lashank does that perfect. Your letters have to come down once. There's no, there's no time for mistakes, okay? Mistakes, a mistake in a shunt in close quarters gets you in big, big trouble. That's why I don't mind if the shunt takes a few more seconds. My shunt is an actually pretty fast shunt, okay? But let's say there's other systems that are more da 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 I don't mind if it takes a little bit more time, but I want it to happen perfect every time, okay? There's no place for mistakes on the shunt, okay? It's just no place. I was on the rocks for a while because of a bad shunt. I know what it is. I cut my shit. I cut my feet up so bad. It was the worst day of my life. Anyway, no, I had other bad days too. But anyway, there's no mistakes anymore. This thing goes and it comes in. Okay, finished. Okay, so there's two bushings that have to come over here. They fix the height, so this is fixed. That bushing is acting as if it's the blade. Because the blade comes over here, yeah? So, because I was messing with stuff today, so I had to have a, something that shows me where the blade is, so that when I bash into a rock, and this kicks up, I wanted to know what happens you see? Well, that's what I wanted to know. So it roughly goes to there. The beautiful thing about this rope is now that it pulls the rudder, that pulls the shaft away from the boat. So the rudder's never going to bash into the bow. Understand? So that's the Balkan shipyard secrets from the previous video. But as you see, we can't hold secrets for very long. So... Now getting it in is a that, okay? And then the sacrificial pin, we love him. Six millimeters of copper wire. Uh, six square millimeters of copper wire, 3.8, uh, 2.8, 2.8 thick, under three millimeters. So then it will be bent up like this and bent under like that. And all I need is a piece about that long and I can sail all over the world, I hope, you know, I can go a long way. So that's the boat, guys. Uh, yeah, the Balkan shipyard's mess. Everything's on the floor, everything's all over the place. He has a second ladder. Got to start glassing them now. I, li I like these blades. Came out real nice. They... I don't know, they're about 1.2% of my sale area, roughly. I don't remember how big they are. They, that's how big they are. He has the dagger. The dagger is, I don't remember. Uh, the dagger is, uh, I don't remember. I don't know, maybe 3% sale lately or something. I don't remember that. And I can't think about it at the moment. There's a lot of dagger over here. The uh, whole thing goes down. Uh, now we've got the outboard, gonna start working on the outboard that comes in the middle of this deck piece close to the mast. The mast is actually where that black thing is over there. That's where the mast comes. The yard. This is the next thing I have to do. Start doing this, I don't know when. This is a, this is a, so this is a, whatever it is, and there's another one on the other side, and then the, my tacking pipe, where the, where the yard of the cell goes along, when it shunts, so it comes onto here, and then it links into here, okay, it's going to be rollers and stuff, if you, if you know the, the Lashank, that you know what I'm talking about, or what I'm trying to say is that the roller comes in under this, and this is basically a type of a shock absorber. There's a, it can, it, it can do this. There's a, there's rubber over here, there's rubber pipes over here, there's two NBR pipes, one inside the other, and they squash. 
That's because the Lashank, the yard jumps when I'm sailing, when you go up a wave and the hull comes off a wave, the rig, because it's a cambered panel and it's got little walls in it, I suppose that's the reason the, the air is holding it up and it comes down late. So on make or break, my yard is always bouncing on deck. It's not a problem, but I just don't like it. So I'm just going to try and minimize the bouncing, but I'm going to try softly to bring it down. So there's about a, I don't know, about a three centimeter, uh, whatever you call it over here. So then it, it pulls it down gradually as the, as the rubber compresses, it pulls, uh, I don't want any, I don't want, you know, I don't want jerks and jerking motion and, and, and heavy stuff, you know, bashing into everything and stuff like that. So, and that's the boat, guys. Uh, welcome to Bark on Shipyards. Happy you're here. The force is strong. I hope to move the boat out of here in a week and start rigging. He has the masts. The ceiling's in the way. So we're going to have to move and we're going to have to go to a totally different place because... Because I'm worried about leaving the boat by itself overnight outside over here. That's not a good spot, you know. All kind of everybody can come over here and do whatever the hell they want. I'm not uh, there, so, you know. So we're going to kind of do that kind of a thing. And then at least we're going to go to a safe place. And then, uh, then we'll start rigging and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff to do. There's moving. There's taking to pieces. There's putting it back together. There's, I've got to build a roof now. I've got to start... Uh, I don't know, in about eight days, Monday, not this one, the next one, so anyway, I've got to start a roof, so I'll be on a roof for about a week, week and a half, and then it's uh, end of August, and September's coming, and then October comes, maybe I'll launch October, I believe I will, I hope I will, I'm just going to try and do it, and that's what it is, guys. Anyway, take care, people. Via 3025. Wave piercer and raked aft. The best bows out there. Take care, people. The force is strong, may be with you. Take care. If you got a dream, only you can do it. Lock on shipyards.